Yo, what up ladies and pimps, if you guys are new to this channel, I am Les LeVon, I am a photographer, videographer, fitness trainer, traveler, and wannabe model, and today we're gonna be talking about how you can take your own photos. So let's get into it. All right, you guys, so have you guys ever dug into your closet finding yourself a nice fly fit and you're looking to update your Instagram or even your Tinder profiles and you don't have that person to take your photo for you? Well, today we're gonna be talking about how you guys actually do that. So the things that you're going to need is obviously a tripod. I'll show you guys mine, but it's kind of, I'm kind of using it right now. All right, you can use one of these bad boys. This is a Joby Gorilla Pod. This is my little thing here. It's not really built for my camera, but we're gonna get to what you can use this for. Next thing you're going to need Ooh, my boy uh, you're gonna need yourself a DSLR camera if you don't have Wi-Fi preferred into the camera I'm gonna tell you guys another way to actually use it because Wi-Fi is very useful but if you don't have it I'm gonna tell you guys how to actually use that if you don't have a DSLR camera you can just use your regular cell phone this is my iPhone 7 I use this thing I don't care about y'all guys the new iPhone X which y'all rich asses anyway another thing that you're going to need is one of these little bad boys here for you people out there that are actually gonna be shooting with your cell phone this thing here can clip onto your phone right here you can switch it around back and forth there's a little screw here and then there's a screw back here not really know what that's useful for but i got this from a selfie stick so i use this as far as connecting it to my tripod another thing you guys may need oh crap are you serious so another thing that you're going to need is one of these little things here so this here it is my Bluetooth enable remote. So it is very useful for you people out there. I'm gonna link everything that I'm telling you guys into the description. But this thing here, right here, if you look really close, look right there, boom, bow. It has an Apple button and then it also has an Android button. So it's useful for both phones and services or whatever kind of thing you got there, you guys. And then another thing here is I have this remote here. It is a Altura. It's a remote for your camera. You can click it and it takes photos for you. Those are the things that you're going to need if you don't have a tripod you can put your camera on literally anything and lean it on there and take photos and whatever whatnot just be safe out there I literally dropped this camera probably several times but right now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what you guys are going to need to do so with for you people out here that are shooting with you our DSLR camera what you want to do is connect to your Wi-Fi you connect your Wi-Fi to your cell phone so you're going to need both of these for that feature from there you can actually see what you see from your camera so say your camera is all the way across the globe oh you can't really go too far from my range it's probably like maybe not 10 feet yeah pro possibly around like 10 feet i'll put the specs in here too because i may be just spitting words out my mouth i didn't really do research as far as the range so you can put your camera wherever you want from there you can actually take the photo from your cell phone checking and making sure you are symmetrical with whatever you are trying to do as far as your creativity another thing i want to go ahead and talk about is when you actually are shooting with your wi-fi you want to shoot with a timer. So I'm saying to shoot with a timer because you can either put it on two seconds or 10 seconds. It's best to do that just because sometimes you take in a photo and your cell phone is in the frame. Not sure if you want to do that. I'm not the person that likes to actually have my phone in there. You guys can tell from these photos here. In my way, I didn't really like the photos just because of that. But if you use the timer, you can get some very successful shots. But typically on my Instagram, I shoot my own photos just because I don't trust people taking my pictures. I don't really have much photographer friends that are willing to actually take my photos that have a great availability. I just go ahead and do my own thing, find myself a little parking lot and take my own photos. For you people out there that do not have the Wi-Fi function onto your camera, what you can do, put your camera on the timer. So when you put your camera on the timer mode, you wanna go ahead and put your camera where you wanna put it, get what you wanna get in focus and go ahead, click the timer, run up to the spot or location that you wanna do and take the photo. But with this, feature for some some cameras i'm learning little things here and there from this my experience with this but what you want to do is put an object where you are actually going to be standing i'm saying this just because you want to make sure that your photos are in focus i took a couple of photos as you guys to see here that they are very blurry they're not very attractive so what i did was i actually put my camera onto the tripod put a pillow on the couch put that in focus and once i got there ran over to the spot threw that pillow out the way and then took the photo so that's a good way 
to actually taking photos when you had a self timer. Other than that, you can actually use your remote. So I use this remote here to take photos, but with this here, timer or not, for my camera, you will click it and it will just automatically take the photo. So you just wanna make sure that you pick and choose on what kind of shoot you wanna do. Cause some of the times I was able to click it and put it out my way and the remote was out of my hand, but you kind of see a motion blur with my hand with some of these photos that you see here. So it can get really annoying, but give or take, you could do that. And another way you can actually do it is if you start to record. So put your camera into video mode. And once you put your camera in video mode, just go ahead and click record. And then from actually you recording, you can run around, do whatever you want to do, post as many times as you want. And you have more flexibility when it comes down to doing this. But one thing that you want to do is screenshot the shots that you want from the video and put it into your editor. But one thing about that, when you're doing that, it can knock down some quality. So that is the non-beneficial thing about shooting with video, but it's very helpful. I've done it plenty of times. It came out pretty well. I posted some of the stuff on there. Some people didn't really care for the quality. Instagram is whatever. So right here, we're going to go ahead and talk about how you can actually take photos onto your cell phone. So there's a couple of ways you can actually do this. You can shoot with this thing here. This thing is so great. It's much different from the remote with your camera because with the camera, what you're going to have to do, I failed to mention this, but when you're actually shooting with this, there is a little thing here. You want to aim this little bad boy right there just so you can actually get the shot because it's not Bluetooth enabled. It's not going to be connecting to it. It's like legit a remote, like a T remote. If you go on like this and you aim in a remote at the wall, you're obviously not going to be able to change the channel because you need to go ahead and put it onto the TV itself and aim it at the TV. So it's kind of annoying, but that is the thing I forgot to actually mention. So with this one here, with this little Bluetooth thing, you can actually connect it to your cell phone. And then from there, you can click it as many times as you want to do and it actually takes a photo so you can put your hands behind your back and you can click the button and you're actually taking a photo so that's one thing i love about this thing here you can hold it as well and it will take burst photos so i think it probably takes about 45 to 46 burst photos whenever you hold it and you can just go around and do your poses and get whatever you got to do so that's one thing that's so grateful about this if you don't want to actually spend your money on this little thing here there's another way you can actually do this thing one thing i do love about these iphones is you can actually put it into your self timer you just put your phone onto the stand get to the position that you want it to be at it doesn't matter if you put it in focus or not it will actually get whatever is in center or whatever you click your focus point at it will go from 10 seconds down and then from there you just do your post and it'll take the photos for you and with that that actually takes first photos up to 10 photos of you doing your thing so you can move around do whatever you have to do you can do stills whatever you like to do it takes 10 photos for you and that is very helpful because you can look back go to your gallery and choose which photo that you like to choose so that is something that's beneficial when it comes down to the Apple iPhones. I'm not sure about Androids. I don't really know much about them. So if you have an Android, I'm sorry. I don't know anything about them. I, I left them a couple years ago. I cannot go back. Another way you can actually do this as well, something similar to what I said before, is just go ahead and put your camera into video mode. Go ahead, do your thing as far as your poses and everything like that. When it comes down to recording with video and you screenshot on your pictures and editing them, you're going to lose quality. So if you really care for quality, don't do this but if you just want to post something onto instagram you can go ahead and do that that is a couple of ways for you to actually take your own photos so i'm going to go ahead and tell you guys some helpful tips to make your guys' photos pop one thing you want to learn is the rule of thirds make sure you learn the rule of thirds if you really want are trying to get more serious when taking your own photos use your grid tool onto your phone as much as possible as you can just so you can get everything symmetrical to take some better photos another thing for all my people that are not models i am not a model i keep on saying this i'm not a model i want to be a model i take my own photos trying to do my own thing if you are lacking in poses you're getting sick of doing that selfie pose like what up what's going on out here in the streets i'm doing my own thing use the app pinterest pinterest is very helpful when it comes down to doing this i always make boards grab some inspirations as far as posing and trying to get some ideas for a next shoot or location I use pinterest as much as possible there's sometimes i go out on shoots especially working out with clients and sometimes i just lose all my inspiration so i just go on to pinterest get a general idea of what kind of shoot I am trying to do or what I'm trying to portray and reference back to those photos. So if you guys like to see how I edit my photos, go ahead and drop a comment on, on the bottom below. It's not just gonna be pictures of me, it's also some of my client work that I am okay with posting. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Well, I'm most likely gonna make it anyways, no matter if y'all comment anyway. I ain't famous, I ain't cool yet like some of you kids out here. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys to like and subscribe too, because if you guys like it, I can show my mom and show her that I actually have people
people looking at my stuff. And you guys subscribe too. I can show her like, hey mom, look, I got about 12 new subscribers. You know, I got a total of 15 subscribers. You know, I'm doing big things out here, mama. If you guys enjoy this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Wait, 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 how you doing? Do it like this, like this. Oh man, I suck at it. Alright, this way.